we are officially <coughs> in Grand Cayman and we just had our breakfast delivered so we're going to eat that and then get off the ship as soon as possible everybody waits until around nine o'clock so you want to get off before then or you're going to be waiting a long time so like right now there is no wait so we're going to eat get off the ship probably just look around for a little bit because um we don't have to meet our like snorkeling tour guide until i believe 9 30. so yeah just kind of getting up and around y'all i've literally had the same hair every day why because it's vacation <coughs> no makeup why because it's vacation right baby yes <laughs> So tired. He's still waking up. Sorry. It's hard for him to wake up in the mornings. And today he's absolutely terrified because we are going snorkeling with stingrays, which he's already told you is like his worst fear. Yeah. But he's gonna do it and he's gonna be awesome at it. I right, just babe? Sleep. Stay here and sleep. We're gonna walk all the way down eight to the front, which as you know is like let's see, super long hallway all the way back there. And from 8, we'll walk down to zero. And you can get off again. We're tendering away. Awesome little um, coffee shop here in Grant and Cayman and we are now walking to meet up with our group to go swim with the stingrays. Zeb is so excited you guys. Yeah, you can see the excitement on my it's face. gonna face some fears today. It's incredible. You should always face your fears people. Yeah, okay? Yeah. Why is it always me facing my fears? Can't let on fears this keep you from doing things that are gonna change your life. Let's go right? face your fears. Go watch a scary movie. Touche, touche. Yeah, Not okay. gonna happen. Okay, yeah. <laughs> put sunscreen on and they are going around and giving Don't everybody their flippers and stuff because it tastes like salt. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. From like 17 years Yeah, ago. okay. So we have not probably snorkeled in I want to say four or five years. Like it's been a very long time. But anytime we go on a snorkeling tour, we don't ever use their stuff. Um, my dad, I guess four years ago, did a snorkeling tour and used their snorkel and legit got a really rare what would you even call it? Um, yeah, like infection in his mouth. And when he went back to the U.S., like they could not even figure out what was wrong with him. So just fair warning, if you ever do a snorkel tour, our advice would be take your own stuff. Guys, that's going to test his goggles. <laughs> I think I'm ready. <laughs> Looking good, babe. Looking good. Hey, 
film on them. If you have any of that stuff on your feet, you can take a stingray, just scratch very easily. Same as having the gloves in your hand. If you touch them, you scratch them with your hands, all right? Also, we would feed the stingrays, we feed them calamari, okay? The way you're gonna hold the food, you're gonna hold the food like an ice cream cone. You're gonna stick the food up, about that much. You're gonna tuck your thumb down, wrap your fingers around it. When the nose of the stingray hits your wrist, you just wanna open your fingers, release the food. They suck like a vacuum cleaner. Stingrays have no teeth, they have grinding blades in their mouth, all right? He's got he's got a double barb, so that's the danger part of the stinger right here. My thumbs on, he's got two, see he's got two barbs. It's a double barb. So once he loses them, he won't grow another one back. Really? Yeah. So that's the bonus means of self-defense is that barb. Having an anxiety attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Woo! Dude, 
They are literally everywhere. Look at this. So cool. Right. I conquered my fear. Nothing, Brooklyn. <laughs> she just got a new fear. I am shaking. Good times. Good times. Brooklyn, are you having fun? I've calmed down a little bit. Yeah. So, so just don't bring any more food over here? Yeah. No <laughs> and more you'll be food okay. Because um, they all come at once and they do. absolutely terrifying. They just come attack you. I just, they tell you to stay calm, but these waves. No, it's the waves. Look, it's coming right up again. tell you guys whenever you take a cruise you have the option to book your excursions through the cruise ship or um, basically like third party and on our honeymoon our very first cruise we did excursions through carnival because we really didn't know any better um, and they kind of tell you be careful about booking with other places but we have booked all of our excursions the past few years through a place called shoreexcursioneer.com this I think I already told you was we paid I think it was like $48.99 each um, it's a three-hour excursion. It takes you to three different stops. So Stingray City, you don't snorkel there. You just get in the water with the stingrays, and then they take you to two um, snorkel sites. And so Carnival basically offers the same thing, but here is the difference. The difference is we pulled up to Stingray City, and you can see all the Carnival boats. You knew which ones they were because they were packed with people. Like, they were sitting on top of each other. They packed those boats so full to get their money's worth. Um, and here on this boat, we have had so much room. Like the boat was not even near full. You have room to walk around. Like right now, if I were on a carnival, look, I'm up here um, on this park all by myself. Like people would be all up on me and I couldn't even video because it would probably be just way too awkward. So I would highly recommend um, first doing this exact excursion. So on shoreexcursioneer.com, there were multiple Stingray City tours to choose from, but this one had the best reviews and so that's why I went with it. Three hours they give you um, there's fruit punch and water available to you and just an awesome crew so $48.99 we will put the link to the one that we chose in the description highly recommend them. Hey guys I wanted to give you another cruise tip when you are going on an excursion that does not serve food stuff these bad boys in your bag they are lifesavers like we're hungry and I was like hey let's eat some cinnamon toast crunch but they have them like at the buffet. We ordered it, it came with room service. Um, and we don't order milk, they send it anyways, but we just put it in our backpacks and we have cereal to munch on all day. Sign card. 
and now we're about to go tender back to our boat. So super fun day in Grand Cayman. Loved it. Can't wait to come back. This Conquered place is beautiful. He did conquer his fear. And I would come back and do it again. Yes, but even like when we were driving, everywhere you look, it's just very beautiful, um, very well taken care of island. So I just got out of the restroom here in the port and it was the weirdest thing. All the urinals were numbered like one through 10. <laughs> and I don't really know what that means. Do you know what that means? What? Yeah, I know <laughs> what that means for a urinal to be numbered. So the only thing I think of, you know, like when you're at Walmart in the self checkout and it like backs up and then like one of the stations opens and then the worker says, okay, number six is open. <laughs> And then the worker inside okay, there so you in look the like bathroom. Number five. Yes, <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of. So we decided um, to just go back to the room, take our showers and everything, and order room service. So um, we ordered four teas. We're extremely thirsty. <laughs> Um, first on the menu. The first one. Okay, this is, is the Philly, Philly cheesesteak. Cheese so, um, didn't know it had bell peppers yeah, on it. It didn't say that. It but, didn't. Okay. It said onions, but so Philly cheesesteak and French fries. And, oh, oh, these look good. Um, those look real good. This is it's chicken panko crusted chicken tenders. Um, so yeah. those look amazing. <laughs> We're just kind of hanging out. Got her uh, coffee. I got an ice vanilla latte. Um, we've been dieting and being healthy. And so one of the things I've just like been craving is ice vanilla lattes, but I haven't been getting them I'm trying to be good because um, we basically, our diet was like a certain amount of calories every day. And I did not want to waste my calories on coffee because I don't drink coffee all that much, but I've been wanting ice vanilla lattes. So I got one this morning when we were in port and then I just wanted another one. So I went to the coffee shop She's and it is pretty good. Yeah, this is so good. I'm gonna wash my hands with this crazy contraption thing. Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> it feels super weird on the hands, but there's soap and water in it. Ooh. There you go. I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> hey guys, you have to get yourself an awesome husband like mine. He sat down, and I didn't even have to ask him. He just put my sweetener in for me. Oh yeah. Man, you're good. Man. That's the service you deserve. <laughs> okay, so we are just now eating dinner. It is 7.54. Um, we had a late lunch, and like I told wow. you, we didn't want to go. What? I just realized we haven't ate dinner. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're like walking around, and you're like... Are you hungry? Really? I'm like, yeah. I haven't ate dinner, dude. Okay, well, I wasn't thinking. I forgot <laughs> we ate lunch or yes. and not dinner. Um, so we took the dining room. It was an elegant <coughs> night, and we just did not feel like getting dressed up. We came to the buffet. They had chicken parmesan. Oh, yeah, my favorite. Okay, these were Philly um, cheese like cheesesteak egg rolls with cream cheese in them. Cream cheese? What, yeah, because oh. underneath it said cream cheese. So I don't know. So we don't really know what we're eating. Um, but these were um, some kind of like chicken noodles. I got one of those. This was pork loin with like an apple glaze, um, a roll. These were just grilled veggies, some cheese, a salad. You kind of just get a sampler when you go to the buffet. I got cookies. <laughs> he did get cookies, y'all. Those chocolate chip cookies are so good. <laughs> we're very good. So Zeb tried the egg roll first. And then told me I had to try it because it was amazing. It's not cheesesteak is what we've decided. It is brisket, like juicy, tender, amazing brisket. It's probably one of the best things I've ever ate. Like, honestly. It kind of blows my mind. I'll yeah, it's like one of those things that you didn't expect. I mean, Absolutely. Like, buffet. I'm probably going to have to go get more. Yeah. That's how good it is. We are headed back to the room. We just got done eating those delicious, amazing egg rolls. Ah, man. I had to stop eating them because they were so good. I want to throw up. We were talking earlier like how awesome it's going to be to walk off this ship and see that we did not use one elevator. One That's elevator like, stairs every who day. Who are we? Like, who are we? <laughs> Dude. Because, That's not like us. I mean, never have I been on a cruise where I did not <clears throat> take the elevator. <laughs> so, outside, um, the Red Frog. <laughs> 
Oh, there is. Hey, okay. Sorry. I don't know if y'all can see that through the glass. Uh, I don't know. I can't even see. My hair's in my face. I wanted to show y'all this cool swing. So outside the Red Frog Pub, um, they have like a whole outdoor area. But these are tables that are also a swing. <laughs> I don't know the correct term for this type of contraption. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fun. Yeah. I wouldn't suggest eating and drinking on here. Yeah, no kidding. All right, Brooklyn's about to jump on the swing. Yeah. Once it starts, is being a bully. once it starts yeah. going, you can't stop. So ready? Go. I don't know. Go. I'm gonna just have Go. to get fully in the seat. I can't Go. get my legs out. You're gonna come off. Oh my <laughs> goodness! What are okay. you doing? <laughs> You would have chopped my leg off. She made it. If I could not have like put my feet down on that. Good job, babe. Yeah, thanks. I knew you could do it. You are a bully. For the record, I am not a bully. I'm just trying to have a little Be fun. Be a buddy, not a bully. Oh my gosh, <laughs> get out of here. Hey, my iced tea is doing pretty good, yeah, actually. Yeah, just <laughs> sitting there all by itself. <laughs> what? You? You were reaching for it like you were going to grab it. <laughs> well, I thought about and it. And like, then, you were like so well, far away. Well, and then away. it was like too far from me. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So we got here a little later Well, than we should have. For some reason I thought there was a movie before this. And it, I guess it wasn't as long as I thought it was. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, Dark So uh, we're uh, pretty close to the screen here. Yeah kind of like looking at it at an angle like a pretty pretty intense angle <laughs> let me see can you see it that's all a blur anyways it'll still be fun won't it babe i'm just joking <laughs> i'm joking i really want to see this movie yeah i don't really know too much about it it's called shazam shazam it tells it says a boy is given the ability to transform into a superhero and learns and it went away. <laughs> I didn't read it Learn fast what? enough. It was, it's, Learn what? Learn what? I said, I think it's to read it. Oh. It went away before I could read the whole oh. sentence of okay. what this movie was about. Anyways, we're excited. Okay, we are back in the room. Just got finished washing. Washing? Yeah, watching. Let's start over. My hair's bad. <laughs> watching the movie Shazam. Uh, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest. I came back earlier. Yeah, she left me like I'm not feeling too not hard. even an hour in the movie. So that's okay though. She had some quality time watching HGTV <laughs> in bed. So this is the first night like I'm feeling. It was those a egg sick. rolls. It was those egg rolls. Oh, don't say that. Those were good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's the problem. Oh, no. We were about to go to bed. Um, Word. Tomorrow is. Our favorite day. Yes. We're going to Cozumel. For now, we are off, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.